G'day guys, I'm Casey Muse. Welcome to the Coach's Clipboard. Um, how I got into rugby was I was at primary school. Um, I was playing bull rush with uh, all my mates and one of their fathers came along who was a coach of a rugby team and he, um, he saw me running through all these other kids and approached my father and asked whether I could play for his rugby team. And that's how I got into it. I was about uh, 10 years old and yeah, I have a look back. Loved it. Um, I think, like anything, the, the All Blacks are the, are the highest level that you can play at. And for me, achieving that was the last rung of being successful in, in rugby as a player. Um, yeah, I would, as a young fellow, I always set goals to make representative sides. And when I did that, I just set new goals and kept climbing up the ladder and eventually made the All Blacks. And the hard part was actually staying in the All Blacks. You know, it's easy to get there, but being there consistently is, is the hard part. And so I just kept refocusing my goals and re-evaluating every year and trying to play as well as I could and as long as I could. Yeah, different. Um, moved to France after I felt I achieved everything in rugby that I wanted to in New Zealand and the challenge for me was to finding a place where I would still be learning and uh, I really liked the style the French played. I played them on many occasions occasions in test match rugby and I really liked their style of forward play, uh, especially the scrums and went to France and just absolutely loved it. It was a, it was a tough battle and, and a lot of fun. Hard work but very enjoyable. Um, yeah, there's been uh, been a lot of guys like anything though. You um, one week you're not so so good against them. Next week you go away and you do some homework on them, and and the next time it gets a, a lot easier. So every player I've come against is is hard at, at test match level. They wouldn't be in test match player if they weren't good. Um, but it's just about respecting your opponent, and uh, at the end of the day, coming out just knowing that you got the edge on. Well, it's a contact sport, and <laughs> if you don't like contact, then you shouldn't be playing rugby. Um, there's that old saying, <laughs> if you want to uh, donate blood, play rugby. So <laughs> I enjoy that saying. Um, yeah, rugby's a contact sport, and you just got to deal with every situation that comes along. Um, yeah, you know, there's sometimes to get quite surly, and other times to be a, a gentleman. This is my first year um, and I'm learning so much. Um, for me, I just strive to be, out of all the coaches I've had, I've, I've looked at what I've really enjoyed in them and I try and bring that out in, my, in, in how I approach coaching. And I'm still an infant, if you could say that, as a coach. Um, this is my first year. Um, I'm absorbing and learning every day. Uh, but really enjoying being around the boys and being able to pass on some of the experience and knowledge I've developed over my long, long career. <laughs> so yeah. Um, scrum, scrum coach, scrum technician. Um, my role is to support the other coaches and get uh, the boys scrum functioning to a, uh, to a solid foundation where we can play off. Yeah, I basically just finished playing rugby <laughs> a few months ago, um, but throughout my career coaching has, has changed. It's become a lot more professional where with the introduction of professional rugby, but um, yeah, it's more in depth. It's new technologies coming out every um, every year and everyone's trying to get ahead of the next person and introduce something new that's going to make the team play better. So yeah, I'd say coaching has, it's, it's a developing art and you've just got to roll with it. Uh, mate, for me at the moment, uh, I'm taking it uh, season by season. Um, I want to do the best job I can do this year, and I'll re-evaluate re my goal <laughs> or re-evaluate my situation uh, next season. But yeah, I'll take it year by year. I'm not. Um, I definitely want to be around in the coaching game for a while, 
but I want to take small steps in doing it. Yeah, um, you know, we, we were very young at the time, but um, Carl Hoft and myself, as well as uh, Joe McDonnell, we were all three front rowers who played for um, Otago. And one of our great achievements was a uh, young player by the name of Carl Hamer. He had three All Black props playing in the same province as him, and we all showed him our skills, and he ended up being one of the one of the best tight heads in the country's had. I would say um, to be the best, you've got to learn from the best. So you need to associate yourself with uh, good coaches who either are your mentors or who you aspire to be like, and and look at what they're doing and take the best aspects of what they have and apply it to, to what you're trying to do. And then when you get an opportunity to, to coach higher, take it, grasp it and, and do the best job that you can.